In this video, we're going to look at adding channel and multi information to a rig. We've already assigned label legends to these instruments. There's a few ways to add data to, data to these lights. First, we can select an instrument and manually edit the fields in the object info palette, like so. A quicker way, if you'd like to add data to a number of instruments, is to use the Spotlight Number Instrument tool, which is up here in the Spotlight menu. Or the shortcut is Command, Option, Shift, N. Here we can set the field, we'll select Channel, and we'll start with 1, and we'll increment 1. And the direction will default to Manual, as we don't have anything selected at the moment. Click OK. Now we can work our way along the truss, clicking on the lights in the order we would like them to be channeled. When done, just click anywhere off a light and you'll finish. Let's do the same with the clay packies. I'm going to use the Select by Field example shortcut, Command Option Shift S, and then the number shortcut, Command Option Shift N. Let's start with 11, and in the primary direction, I'm going to select left to right. and click OK. And there we go. Now let's do the same with generics. Let's select one, use the select by field example, and then the number instruments, and then let's start those at 21 and click OK. While we've got those selected, let's add some gel to those. Now let's look at adding some multi-information to the plan. I find the easiest way to add my multis is to copy and paste a set of pre-made symbols. So let's go to the resource manager again. Command R to open that. And I'm going to browse to one of my favourites which is Loom's Multi and DMX. I'm going to right click and select open. Here I have my multi-core and multi-way symbols. Now these are actually instruments, as we can see here, in the object info palette. I'm going to select and copy, go back to my working document, and then paste these here. And then I'm just going to duplicate a few of those along the truss. Try that again. The benefit of copying these across instead of inserting them like any other instrument is they then maintain their label legend and layout, saving me from having to reassign this each time I use them. Now we can go through and add some multi information. Command Option Shift N for the Number Instruments tool. I'm going to set the circuit number, start at 1, limit of 6, and then I'm going to Set the circuit name to A1 with an increment of 0. And just click your way along by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 a sphere. And then just click off to finish. And I'll just delete out that additional sphere way. And I'm going to set that multi to A1. Same over here, I'm going to reset the circuit number to 1 and make the circuit name A2 and just work my way along those. Click off to finish and then just delete out the extra spare ways and set the multi to A2. Got some dim multis on this truss, so we'll do those as well. Back into number instruments. Circuit number at 1, and I'm going to set that to AA, and just work my way along those. Pick up the spares, click off to finish, and delete out the additional spare, and set the multi to AA. 
And finally, I'm going to make this last one AB. And there we go.